Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Grace and my channel's name is Gracing. If you're tuning in for the first time, you are welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi. So in today's video, I'm going to explain to you why you shouldn't mix anything. Let's jump right into the video. So I have seen a couple of videos because in my spare time, I look at skincare videos and I try to correct a thing or two that may be in the atmosphere and my subscribers are about to go and grab. I've gotten a few questions as well. Grace, can I mix this and this? Do I mix this and this? Come closer. If you're not a chemist, if you're not an esthetician, if you're not a beautologist, you should not be mixing anything whatsoever. There are certain ingredients that do not mix very well with certain ingredients. Now, this video, I'm going to tell you one product that you can use if lightning is super important to you, as I don't know why, but if that is the reason, then stick with me. Now, I have seen videos of people who are mixing from back to a and mixing caro white and mixing all sorts of things and then you develop dark knuckles green veins you develop a very unhealthy skin and of course under the umbrella of you increasing your chances of having skin cancer take for example for people who are not well educated about ingredients when you mix benzoyl peroxide and say salicylic acid these two ingredients are very drying ingredients and then when you use both of them because you have mixed what somebody said you should mix you end up what drying out your face increasing your pimples breaking out more and making the situation even worse i always advise if there's any set if there's any situation that you feel it is super serious it's important that you go see a doctor now they have specialists in this in this category called dermatologists these are individuals that take care of skincare needs and, and skincare issues that are super bothering to you as an individual one thing i have seen in today's society is the dangers of skin lightning i understand that everybody wants to glow everybody wants to help reduce the sun tan the hyperpigmentation especially when they are exposed to the sun i totally get it but personally i feel like there are healthier ways and safer ways emphasis on safe there are safer ways to go about whatever you're trying to achieve the same way with skin lightening if you feel you have been tanned a lot by the sun or by stress or by childbirth because childbirth has a crazy way of affecting the skin of a woman so many ways healthy ways to go about it the first way number one is from the inside what you're eating is super important i know when i'm at home and i'm with my mom we juice a lot we take a lot of watermelon juice we take a lot of pineapple juice not packed juices more uh, more of juices that we make by ourselves no additives no nothing just natural juice when we take that in a week and a month everybody's complimenting my mom and myself your skin is beautiful your skin is beautiful the difference is that we take what we eat seriously so what am i trying to say you take care of the inner part and then the outer part now for the outer part there's one particular lotion i personally feel if you're the type that wants to lighten your skin it has very healthy ingredients i personally have not seen any bleaching property in this lotion and it would give you a brighter skin as well this is a Mercari lotion Mercari is one company that i have seen growing up as a child my mom uses Mercari and she has she doesn't have green veins she doesn't have dark knuckles my mom is flawless basically there are also guidelines based on the website on how to use it which is another problem i have with people when you're using certain things it's important it is important that you look at the ingredients and the directions on how to use it now makari is said to be used once to three times every week personally i feel like the slower you are to your journey the better for you than running fast like a lion and endangering yourself you use it one to three times a week and over time over a month or two you would see better appearance in your skin i've had people come in the comment section to say mercury gave me white spots that was because you were using it every single day of which the manufacturers told you not to 
So do well to use this particular lotion the right way. I've spoken at length about it in this video and another video and another video and I will link them down in the description box if you want to know in-depth knowledge, the ingredient list and everything that has to do with this particular lotion and then you're probably wondering so days when i don't put on this lotion what else do i use there are other healthy lotions available also in the market and i have highlighted some of them here i've spoken about them in countless videos and i think the important thing here is healthy skin over bright bleached white unhealthy skin it is super important that your skin looks healthy than looking white because people who have that kind of skin you can see from afar that these people do not have healthy skin they have exposed themselves to very very terrible ingredients you guys know this channel is not an advocate for skin bleaching we are advocates for healthy skin healthy glowing bright supple looking skin emphasis on healthy thank you guys so much i know today's video isn't a lot of laughy laughy jumpy jumpy it's more of a serious educational thing and i think you have to take your skin seriously look at the ingredient list in anything you are buying just so that you don't become victims to somebody on another platform on the internet or tiktok or instagram whatever you owe it to yourself to take care of yourself you owe it to yourself to be healthy and um i'll see you in my next one bye